If you've ever hit that wall where your running just won't get any faster, even though you're training hard, chances are your VO2 max has something to do with that. In this video, we're breaking down the fastest way to improve your VO2 max, the real science, not just internet myths. We'll show you three proven steps that can rapidly improve how your body takes in and uses oxygen so that you can run faster, feel stronger and recover better especially if you're over 50. Runners hear VO2 max all the time, but what does it actually mean for performance? Yeah, VO2 max is one of those buzzwords that people like to throw around, but it's actually really simple. It's, it's the maximum amount of oxygen that your body can use during intense exercise. Basically, your engine size. The higher it is, the more oxygen your muscles get and metabolize, and the longer you can hold at a faster pace before becoming fatigued. Think of it like your car's engine. If you've got a 1.2 litre engine, you can still get places, but you'll top out quite quickly. But a bigger engine, so something like more like a two litre engine, you've got a lot more power to play with, as long as you use it efficiently. The thing is though, after you turn 30, your VO2 max starts to decline, and it's around 1% per year if you're not training smart. But if you train properly, that decline can slow dramatically or even reverse. So what you're saying is that you can actually rebuild your VO2 max even after it's dropped with age? Yep, 100% correct. And it's, it's not only about genetics, I mean, that's a large part of it, but it, VO2 max can be very trainable. But here's where runners often go wrong. They think VO2 max means that they need to train flat out with every single session, and, and that's not how physiology works. To improve it, safely and effectively, you need a system, not chaos. And that system has three main steps. But before we get into that, just, just a quick thing. If you're a runner over 50 and you want to understand how to train smarter, recover faster, and get real performance gains without breaking down, we've put together a free masterclass. You'll find the link below. All right, okay, let's get into the good stuff. So step one, you need to build your aerobic base. This is the foundation of everything. If your easy runs aren't truly easy, you're not training your aerobic system. You're just wearing yourself out. At this level, which is usually 70 to 80% of your maximum heart rate, your body is learning to use oxygen more efficiently, building more capillaries, producing more mitochondria, and those are essentially the tiny power plants within your muscle cells that generate energy. You can think of it as expanding your engine's capacity. You're literally teaching your body to deliver oxygen more effectively. Most people skip this step because it feels too slow. But if you do this consistently for six to eight weeks, at least running easy, keeping your heart rate low, your VO2 max will already start to climb. That's interesting because I think a lot of runners hear VO2 max and assume they've got to hammer intervals every day. Yeah, that's right, and, and that's exactly where they go wrong. So if your foundation isn't there, you won't be able to handle that intensity. So once you've built that base, then you can move to step two, which is the power work. And this is really where the science and the training gets fun as well. So short, high-intensity intervals, so anywhere from two to four minutes at around 90 to 95% of your maximum heart rate. Side note, this is just one example of what these intervals can look like, and that's the sweet spot for improving your VO2 max. You're stressing your, card your cardiovascular system just enough to force it to adapt. Your heart pumps more blood with each beat, your oxygen transport gets more efficient, and your muscles learn to use that oxygen better. And it doesn't take much. One session per week is enough. And the key here is quality, not quantity. Do four to six of those intervals, Rest around the same amount of time in between and let your body adapt. So not those crazy all-out 20 by 400 meter sessions? No, not those at all. Those are, those are hero workouts, right? They look good on Strava, but they absolutely wreck your training and your recovery. True VO2 max work should be controlled suffering. You're near your limits, but you're still in control of your form, your breathing, and your pacing. And that's how elite runners do it. And that's how everyday runners can also improve safely. Now, once you're doing that once a week, you can layer in step three, which is strength training. And this surprises a lot of runners. Strength doesn't just make you stronger, it makes you more efficient. 
When your legs are stronger, you use less oxygen to maintain a given pace. That's literally how running economy improves. Research shows that doing two to three strength sessions a week, focusing on compound moves like squats, deadlifts, calf raises, can increase VO2 max and delay fatigue. And as we age, this becomes even more important. We naturally lose muscle mass and power output, and that directly affects oxygen use. By strength training, you're keeping your engine parts in top shape so your aerobic system can actually do its job. So in a way, these three steps are connected. Aerobic work builds the system, intervals push the ceiling, and strength work makes the whole thing more efficient. Yes, absolutely right. You're expanding the engine, you're testing the limits, and you're fine tuning the machine. And one last note, none of this matters if you don't recover properly. Because every time you train hard, you're creating stress. And the improvement comes when your body repairs from that stress. So sleep, proper fueling, and genuine rest days, that's where the magic happens. So let's pull this all together. If you want to supersize your VO2 max, here's the formula. Run easy most of the time. That's where the base grows. Add one structured high intensity session per week, two to four minute intervals around 90 to 95% of heart rate max. Strength train two to three times weekly to improve running economy and then recover like it's your job. Oh, could not have said that better. Do those things consistently for eight to 12 weeks and you'll see measurable improvements, not just in your VO2 max score, but in how your running feels. Your easy pace will get faster at the same effort, your long runs will feel smoother, and you'll finish races stronger. Brilliant. That's exactly how you build performance that lasts. If you want to see what kills your progress next, check out our video where we studied a thousand runners over 50 and found out exactly what destroys their knees. It's the one mistake that undoes all the good work that you're doing right now.